Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Starve Reign of Giants. So, last time, we had a little bit of an issue with the badger upstairs. And, as always, I did a little bit more expanding underground on the base. So, currently, we have quite a lot going for us down here. Uh, I have all the farms set up, so we're going to be able to last for quite a while. But there are a few things from the surface I'm thinking about getting. So, obviously, if you remember back to quite a while ago, I was planning on, um, one second, I'm just trying to rush this. I was planning on trying to find Metuscan Sun, so when it got to the winter, how oh, can I not give him that? Oh, I must be doing it wrong. Let me just check something. Can I give him cooked? Yes, I can. Right, so I was also thinking about this, actually, um, changing all of these into eggs rather than just letting them turn into rot and using for fertilizer. So McTuscan Sun is fairly important um, for the cane, etc. For when it actually turns to winter, I can then just go and sort it out that way. And the best thing about these eggs is I could just use them for food, and I can always just uh, let them turn into explosive stuff. Yeah, here we go. Um, currently, the food situation is pretty decent. Obviously, I was thinking about the bird cage. Still not 100% sure if I want that to happen. Um, I mean, it could work, obviously. Does this work? Well, I'm going to hope it does. As far as I remember, Monster Jerky gives you sanity. No, it doesn't. Okay, well that just might be normal Jerky then. That's not that bad anyway, it takes longer to um, turn to normal. Or rot, I should probably say. Better way to rephrase that. Um, we do have a few berries and... I'm trying to think of anything else I might want to take to the surface. In here... Or the rock. We will need more ice. That's actually kind of a good point. I'm going to sort out some of these farms. I give one in to the bird. Yep, that worked. i chuck this in here. And grab the seeds. Although, thinking about this now, I might need to give another one to the bird in case I get to the point where I don't have any seeds left. You know what, I'll give them both. Wow, that was a pretty good hole. And you know what, I'll harvest the last one and put it in the chest. It's not like I need them at the moment or anything, so I might as well just save up seeds. As far as I remember, I can actually feed these seeds to the bird and regenerate them as normal seeds rather than, I mean, as dragon fruit seeds rather than normal seeds. If not, bad news. Um, I'm going to need some more green caps at some point. Take this with me. I'm going to drop the tall bird egg. I'll let it sort itself out. I forgot I actually had that. Um, this... What happened last time? What, what is all this stuff I've got? All this honeycomb and gunpowder. I might need another chest, and also, I was going to go on a tree cutting spree. What? <laughs> okay, it's against the rules. I was wondering why. I thought it was letting me for a second. So there is quite a few things I'm going to need to do. Can I survive here without that? Yeah, partially. Not gonna risk it though. Um, let me sort this food stuff out. Don't cut that tree down. Yeah, so I'm trying to stock up on birch nuts for those health things. So you need like, as far as I remember, two berries, two birch nuts. So there are a few things. Maybe that's not safe. Leaving gunpowder right next to my base. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, there is a few things I'm going to need to do on the surface. 
I will just need to remember everything that I just said though, because usually when I talk sometimes it just goes over my head. So as far as I remember, find them at Tusk Camp, um, chop down a bunch of trees, and explore the rest of the world. And the bees as well, yeah. Do oh, I don't know, I don't have the net. There we go. Sort my screen out so I know where I'm going. Don't need this currently. Might not need the armor because it's not as good as I thought it was apparently. It's actually just 100% resistant when you hide in it, which I don't think I'll be doing a lot of hiding in it. Um, I could just go for another chest right now. And I'll place this one here. I will eventually figure out what goes in each chest, etc. But for the time being, I'm just going to chuck whatever into one. And sort it out later. In fact, I might need that. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, let's head to the surface. I actually put my hat on. I might grab a few um, roads while I'm up there, and I might want to get some orbs while I'm down here, just so I have a constant fuel source for light whilst I'm on the surface. Oh yeah, and I forgot that the lore worms or lurk worms, whatever they're called, are actually down here as well, because I didn't properly kill them last time. Just heard it in the distance. I might want to shave as well before going to the surface. So I have quite a list, but as far as I'm gonna remember is just explore. Um, I'm gonna need to grab some mushrooms when I see them, because that's fairly important. Right, so right here I will shave. Where is my shears? Where are my shears, Chester? Might need that. Do I not actually have any? You're gonna tell me they're on the surface. Oh, damn. Okay. I'll take these with me, just to remind me that they are my last ones. Might as well take that, because that's what I made it for. So yeah, just chop down a whole bunch of trees, and then I should be good from there. So all I really need to remember. Well, they trust me, guys. I am going to forget some of the stuff I just said. Alright, let's see if we can find the shears on the surface. Almost time for bed. Here we go. And we have green mushrooms in the camp again. Might as well leave this on the surface because for underground at the moment there's not much going on upstairs. Uh, the underground one's full, that's what I'm trying to say. I mean, for all I really care about this upstairs base, I might as well just destroy everything and move it downstairs. By upstairs and downstairs, I mean <laughs> underground on the surface. But seriously though, think about it, I'm not actually really using any of this stuff. I come up here on occasion to collect some of the things and whatever, but other than that, I never have anything in the farms, and I'm going cold. How close is winter? Oh, well that turns out it's a little bit closer than I thought. Damn. So I am actually going to need something to keep me warm. That's going to get irritating. Can I check this on the fire? Yes, I can. Um, spider eggs I can check on the fire, but I feel like I might want to place those underground somewhere. 
Get rid of that guy before he causes too much trouble. I might actually need to eat the honey ham. I'll need to think about that. So wow, we're just back to normal walking about on the surface, actually. Let me take this with me for safety and the breezy vest, uh, which I can always just put on whenever I need to. I might as well give them to Chester. Along with the bug net and these seeds, which I'm never going to use anyway. Shears I won't really need, so they can just stay here. How many blue gems am I off upgrading Chester? I think it's like three, right? So, in winter it might be pretty good to look for some ice hounds, or well, just the Matuskin sun, which I was planning on doing anyway. So, where haven't I explored? Like nowhere? <laughs> I've pretty much explored everywhere as far as I can tell. Down here might be my best bet because, well, it's the least explored area out of everything. It's just out of the way. Oh, that's going to be fun to get to. Okay then, Chester. Looks like we have a journey ahead of us. Thinking about it, I didn't actually need that for the night. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I say that winter wasn't actually um, going to be for a few days. Turns out, it is right now. Well, I was not prepared for this. I am going to want to get them at Tuscan Sun stuff, though. So I think the only thing that I'm going to really need to worry about is warmth. In a way, this is a good thing. I can get some penguins out of the water. Why oh, do they not arrive yet? I guess they don't arrive yet. This is still burning in, like, the middle of winter. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of that. Winter is here. I don't have a number error currently. Although I guess, in a way, that's a good thing, because it means that it isn't... Ow! It isn't the dead of... Oh my god. I was going to say it isn't the dead of winter currently. You know these trees, how they've fallen down? I honestly don't know what could have done that, other than the bearger. Are you trying to tell me the Birger came through here? Is there a path of destruction anywhere? Oh dear. Well, <laughs> um, if he did, in a way it's a good thing. There's only one merm left at the house. Oh. Rock Lobsters are having a great time down there. Alright, leave me alone, Merm. I'm going to head down to this other place and hopefully find my Tuscan Sun. I might need to make my own um, Thermal Stone again, seeing as I'm being stubborn and not actually heading back to the base. I forgot that this raises your sanity. That's kind of nice. This ice is growing. I'd prefer to wait for it to fully grow, though. I don't think I need anything from around here. But I'll give it the once-over. Of the destroyed land. Ooh. Oh, they're going off. Where is it? Oh, just down here. Oh, they're going to have a little bit of a problem with... Uh, Old Daddy Longlegs over there. Alright. I will dig up this ice because I'll need it for something at some point. 
Oh, you won't wear that whilst I'm out because I do want to kind of keep the durability for it. Push up another space and I'll chuck down this ice. Soggy ice. Brilliant. I might not stay here for long either. Where, what do I have ahead of me? I think I have the desert with all the hounds in it. Which I'm not a fan of. Yeah, give me a second. I'll get back to my fire and make two ticks. I guess that's renewable rocks as well, when I think about penguins. Um, yeah, I'll eat this. Top me off on the hunger for a while, so I won't have to bother about it that much. I guess I could throw these tufts and stuff on the fire, but I might need to come back for them eventually. I'll warm it up a little bit, and then I can uh, head out. I do need to keep some trees for more fires, though. I could head around the top of the desert biome. Might be a bit better that way. Uh, 20 ice. Eating it's only going to do me harm. Other than that, I can't really think of much of a reason for it. Right, let's hope I don't freeze to death. Uh, there's quite a bit of stuff I'm missing, but I'll think of this as a challenge. This is definitely going to be a massive challenge, and I'm probably going to fail this and uh, die horribly. But whilst I'm on it, I might as well build a torch. I love tumbleweeds, though, so this could be fun. Penguins, really? I don't have time for your business. Yeah, tumbleweeds are probably one of my favourite things in the game. After walking around here, I'll probably um, have, like, two stacks of twigs and grass. Even though I already have stacks underground, but oh well. I love finding the little extra stuff. I don't even know why I currently have that equipped. I don't actually need it right now. I will in a minute, however. Oh no, I won't. It's full moon. That helps. Oh, gears. I like gears. I'll get rid of those. Oh, are you kidding me? Hounds? Are you going to do this to me? Hound tooth. As if you couldn't be any more ominous. Uh, wait, do they have... Oh no, that's from the penguins. I could lure them to the penguins, I guess. You know what? Fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna lure them to the penguins because I don't want to have Chester around because it's too dangerous. I'll keep this light equipped. Um, I need a good enough path to traverse through. Ice hounds. Nice. Um, I don't want to lure them too far up to Chester. Yeah, I do need to head to the left. There isn't much that I can get them to attack currently. Here, yeah, penguins, I guess. Uh, that's my best bet. I will need to get a bit warmer in a second. So I might need to go and set something on fire. Yeah, I don't really know why I had that equipped. Come on, penguins. There we go. One of them's attacking. Uh, can you turn to daytime? No? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Warm up a little bit. Does that melt the glaciers? I've never really noticed before. Oh, 
And my blue gem, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly what I needed. Um, okay, right. I might want to head back. Just because of how dangerous it's getting out here. I'm not sure if those penguins managed to deal with all of the hounds, but I'm not sure I want to stick around to find out. Uh, I won't take those. I already have enough food, and it's just going to take up a slot. Much like a second stack of grass is doing at the moment. Um, that might be a bad thing. Oh my god, why so many penguins over here? Maybe this was a bad idea. Ooh. Another biome. Off the side of that biome. Interesting. This is a much bigger desert biome than I first is, uh, like, expected. Wait, why is it raining? What? All the snow just disappeared. <laughs> and rain arrived? Never seen that happen before. So Metuskens are not going to be in a desert biome, but it's best for me to explore the whole of the world. Just so I know in general where I am. Um, deer clops is going to be a problem. I absolutely hate deer clops. Probably my most hated uh, giant. I'll top that off and... Ooh, vault goats. I forgot about these. They're not hostile towards me, which is good. Um, but it is... They are something I would like to kill, I guess, is uh, a way to put it. To get the lightning rod and the good food, but I forget how you're supposed to attack them, etc. So, I don't think I want to risk it. I just warmed up. From just a winter's hat. Oh, I'm frozen again. Oh my god. We have found it, ladies and gentlemen. Maxwell's door. I actually haven't um, defeated Maxwell yet. Beaten adventure mode because I've never really focused on it. I tried it once or twice back when I didn't know what I was doing, but I haven't unlocked Maxwell or Wes. So I could do a series on it, which could be interesting. Wait, why didn't that place? That was strange. I just got cold and then I got warm again. I'll keep walking until dangers. In fact, no, I'll set up here. So I'm curious to see if I can actually continue straight down. Or if uh, this area here is like the river, or if I have to go all the way around there like that. No matter which one it is, it's probably going to take me two more days to actually reach anywhere close to what could be McTuskinson. And I'm slowly running out of food. What was that sound? I'm going to need to keep on the move, I think. If I actually want to uh, survive out here. Yep, I do have to go all the way around, unfortunately. A uh, torch could help me just set a few things on fire whilst I'm on the way. But I'm not going to stop for these tumbleweeds for a few reasons. Mainly because it's going to slow me down like crazy. And I prefer to not have exploration be the death of me. <laughs> that would be a very terrible way to go. I can hear other footsteps around here. I need to hope it's not hounds. And the thing is, when I find Mitt Tuskinson, I'm not exactly 100% sure what I'm going to do either. Oh my god, so many tumbleweeds. That would be my dream if I could just stop and pick them up. Double rot. Oh, carrots. See, this 
is one of the main reasons I actually don't take all the carrots in the first place. Because you can come back later and just pick them up. I know I saw one there, but I'm trying to keep moving. Spitters. Uh, yeah, they're my friends, but I'm going to skip around them. Mainly because of Chester. Wait, why is there so many? Good job I did skip around on them. Uh, I could set them all on fire. You know, just casually. If I uh, light this up, the whole forest would go up and it'll keep me warm for a while. I won't need to wear the helmet. It'll probably wipe out all the spiders in the area, which isn't exactly the best thing. As far as I can tell, this is a pig set piece. Yep. Which has pigs dotted throughout the forest. That pig is dead. Oh yeah, it's full moon, isn't it? Figure out. Hopefully somewhere there's a McTuscan sun around here, because if there is, I can use the spiders uh, to help me. Right, I'm going to set this tree on fire. Just because it's not really that close. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't think it had spread too much. So I thought I'd be okay. I should probably keep that on. I might be able to make it a bit better when I uh, sew and kit it when I get back underground. And hopefully it isn't used up by them. I do have a breezy vest, but that requires me to lose all my backpack items. Um, yeah, we're uh, be casually being chased by a forest fire. Although I do need to keep going back to it to warm up, thinking about it now. No, my forest fire is finished. I'm not sure too many people have uh, said that before. <laughs> So many spiders, if I wasn't weather right now, I would be in a lot of trouble. It's so just, um, peaceful in the winter. Come on, Chester, get through, get through, Chester. Are you pulling your way through? Oh my god, don't go around there. Please tell me Chester isn't going to die. Just get out of there, Chester. Thank you. Thank you, Chester, for not killing yourself. Uh, there's a pig out there. I'll be able to casually ignore it for the time being. Flowers are relatively important. Just to keep my sanity up so I don't have to keep eating mushrooms. Right, right now. There we go. Just top me off a little. Um, currently, I can't really tell what's within this forest just because it's so huge. I guess I could just head back through it like this and check it out. But if there is no McTuskins... Holy shit. The McTuscan, holy shit. Chester, I'm really, really, I promise you, I'm not trying to kill you. I just want you to... Chester's dead, isn't he? He keeps darting about the fire in the wrong direction. Over here, Chester. Get away from the giant robot mofo. Uh-oh. Um, here you go. No, not freaking him. Attack this guy. Uh, here we go. It doesn't help that I wasn't really able to hit him all that well. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I need a free slot again, don't I? Right, attack this guy. Oh, Christ's sake. Not you, pig. Can you not just leave me alone? I don't know why pigs have to be involved in this. Uh-oh. Now there's a rock. Yeah, I'm probably going to uh, leave this forest for the time being. I do not currently have a torch anymore. So I'm going to need one of those. That's not wise to be carrying around, I don't think, because uh, there isn't really that many spiders in the area. So, as far as I can tell, there's no McTuscan sun in here, which begs the question, where the hell are they? Can you actually get a world without having any spawn in? Because if you can, that would suck. They're possibly over here. I'm looking just in case I manage to miss them somehow. Uh, there is an area over beyond there and beyond there, but as far as I can tell, those areas are just the edge of the biome. But I could be wrong. I'm going to head back. Already. Warm up a little. you go, Weber. Uh, try and not keep this hat on as much. Just because, uh, oh my god. I think we've hit the mother load, guys. I have actually managed to find at Tuscan Sun with absolutely no idea how to kill them. I should mention. Um, just hit my elbow on my radiator. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so then guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I know this seems like a weird place to leave it off, but I'm going with it. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks in advance, and I'll speak to you all next time. You ready for this? Garrosh, you are not fit to roll the horn. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god!